I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. It's all too easy to have a sense of limitation with respect to time. We hastily divide the day into 60-minute slices and then watch those slices slip away one by one. Then we wonder, where did the day go? I want to talk to you today about remember your dream. All of us have things that we're believing for, something that we want to accomplish. Deep down, we know it's a part of our destiny. We can feel it so strongly. But then we hit some setbacks. We didn't get the promotion. The medical report wasn't good. Or a relationship didn't work out. Life has a way of pushing our dreams down. They can become buried under discouragement, buried under past mistakes. There are dreams buried under divorce, buried under low self-esteem. You know better, but you're not doing better. It's easy to settle for mediocrity even though we have all this potential buried on the inside. Your dream may be buried. The good news is it's still alive. It's not too late to see it come to pass. And we've all been through disappointments and setbacks. Life happens. But instead of remembering the hurt, the pain, what didn't work out, the key to reaching your destiny is you have to remember your dream. Your mind, there is nothing as powerful as a changed mind. A changed mind. Oh. A changed mind. Yeah, it's a little bit harder, but I think, uh, I think the passion that one might bring with it uh, brings so much more energy to that that you're more likely to succeed. If you know exactly what you want to be, you need to spend as much time with people that are actually that already. Whether you do it in 12 steps or one step, a changed mind. Oh God, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. There's some, there's some people in here right now that, that used to do drugs, all kinds of drugs, crazy drugs, strung out on drugs. People wouldn't believe who you used to be. Your old friends never thought you would ever get away. But one day you got sick and tired of being sick and tired. Remember what he whispered to you in the middle of the night. Things you haven't told anybody about. It may seem impossible. Every voice tells you it's not going to happen. You've been pushing it down. Dreams that you've given up on. You tried, it didn't work out. It's been so long. It's all a part of the process. Every disappointment, every delay, every closed door. It's not just a setback. It's a set up for God to get you to where you're supposed to be. If you'll do your part and start believing again, get your passion back, they're going to suddenly come back to life. Problems that looked permanent are going to suddenly turn around. I promised you, I'm still going to do. I spoke it to you. It may not have happened yet, but I am true to my word. It is on the way. What are you remembering? The hurt, the pain, what didn't work out? Turn it around and remember your dream. Nothing as powerful as a changed mind. 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 Most of you are not scared to fail for yourself. You're scared to fail and then somebody else that you care about is judging you. If it's not fun, you're not doing it right. So forget considerations of happiness and just get into action. Happiness is something you notice you are feeling later, after you've been in action for a while. It's not something to worry about ahead of time. The battleground between destiny or that which is derogatory is fighting for your mind. when you're trying to differentiate, when you're trying to do something different, there's going to be that gut moment, that gut sense. Is this right? Is this not right? If you're not 
If you're not having doubt, you're not pushing the boundaries far enough. Don't think about how do I get really, how do I get big fast? That will happen if you actually build something super meaningful and super important.